Hey there, viewers. So I'm going to test the stock Vision SC. It's not a new bike, but it's a bike that oh, I always wanted to try. So this review is mainly be, uh, it's based on the fact that I am not a strong rider. I'm just a casual rider. So I think most of us who is cyclists, on honestly, we are probably what weight to power ratio between 2.0 to tr below 3.0. Right, so my, my weight to power ratio is 2.5, so I'm definitely not a strong rider. My, I am 95 kilo, my FTP is about 230. Uh, probably I get cramps after 90 to 100 km rides. So I'm definitely not a strong rider, but at least I can give you in a very lame, in, in my point of view, as a normal rider, what I think of a Vision C, because I mean, I think it's, it, it would be good to have a review in, in our not strong cyclist point of view. Morning. So woke up 5 in the morning as we do every weekend. Going for a ride. I'm going to do a 100km ride today. So today I'm going to test out the stock Visioner. <laughs> So if you're wondering what I have for breakfast uh, before my ride, normally I just take my what I have in the fridge and no, I, no, no oats, no porridge or whatever, but hey. So we have the Malaysian food right here. We have a curry puff, egg tart, and make sure you get in case you, you don't know what it is. This is the curry puff. It's a crispy uh, crispy pastry with some curry potato, potato inside. We have an egg tart, which is basically an egg custard in the pastry, and my homemade kaya. Kaya is basically just coconut jam. Yep, that's my breakfast and a good cup of coffee. So we had Maidin Bukit Jelutong. Now I'm just setting up my bike. Before I set up the bike, let me show you the stock visioner that I always wanted to test for the past three years. Eight point two kg with uh, one hundred and five. Things fair. So let's see how it performs today. We'll let you know. Okay, ready to roll. 95 km today. Oh, it's Marcus. Eleven percent of Rolling Hill, Marcus. Eleven percent of Rolling Hill. Yeah. Okay. Did the dragon back on my eight kg? Oh, there you go. Yeah, everybody black one. Honestly, only I'm very tired. Did on the eight kg stock Visioner with Shimano one o five stock wheels. Can la? Uh, actually, I find Shimano one o five very impressive. Anyway, we're gonna wait for someone and we're gonna roll off. Oh, Johan Sophia. Oh, Johan Sophia. The keto, the, the keto diet fella. Oh, that's Kaki, ma. Ah. Ah, like this guy, la. This Marcus, ah. What, 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 what do you call yourself, ah? Super round, 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 roundabout ah. What super what ah? Rondex, super round, round Super random man. Random man. Super random man. Random man. Oh, 
What a beautiful day for a ride. I think it's gonna be a hot day today. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a hot day today. Sun is up. Oh, my favorite route towards Batu Arang, the scenic Kelapa Sawit Estate. Yeah, they, they do road. I think this is a nice, uh, at least maybe 3k, 4km, 3km of quiet road. Hidden between trees. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of cow dung around here. Anyway, this is definitely my favorite road. This is where we normally just relax, go slow. Batu Arang, heritage site for Malaysia. Everyone who comes here have to take a picture of this graffiti wall. Hey, it was beautiful. Okay, come, I take for you. Wait, uh. One, two, three, smile. Okay, let's go. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're doing a refuel stop at this shop. What's this shop called? Let me think. Let me check out. This shop name is Juan Lee. Yeah, Juan Lee Coffee Shop. And we are going to have some. Chi Chong Fan, which is uh, basically rice, flat rice noodle, I think. Is it called rice? I think so. I don't know. To be honest. Just a flat noodle that's with sweet sauce and some fish ball. Let's see the fish ball. So you can take any of this fish ball, food choke. And nice to heat it up. Alamak video pula apa ni? Look at this beauty. Rice noodle with food choke and chili and sweet sauce and sesame. So beautiful. Right, basically fuchok is made of uh, soya. And I don't know, I think it's gonna be a good breakfast for me now. Long queue. Wow, because ya an uncle niado. Up anyway. Okay, heading off now to uh, Fruit Valley. After our nice break, as you can see, everyone is very slow and lazy already. Maybe we ate a bit too much. I don't know. Wow, what did you? Stay behind you. Chilaka. Come on, uh, stay behind. Uh, you smell good. Uh. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> feel that the stock vision um, it's a very different bike from what I had the FS. it's a bit more responsive especially when I up saddle I noticed when I up saddle when I pull the bar it doesn't have any it doesn't feel soft at all it's definitely a, a punch to it um, uh, I was very skeptical about the vision because I thought it's gonna be a harsh ride but surprisingly it has a very stock feeling to it it's like the, the DNA of a stock bike is always a bit subtle and comfortable. So probably we are going now, so... There you go. 
another stock visioner ridden by Sunny. Honestly, this bike looks amazing. A very macho looking bike. The handling is really good as well. It feels a bit more responsive. It's very fast handling, but it's a bit snappier. Oh, strong headwind. Very strong headwind. And, and we are back. So I'll do a Probably a summary of the ride today on my, this bike later. I want to go home now. Oof, hot. So we completed a 100km ride today and um, it wasn't that bad the weather. It's a bit hot but the cloud really helped. Um, my my quick take on the Vision C uh, is, is really a nice bike, honestly. Um, the Most most people will say that the stock Vision C is a what entry level bike. Like the first step for people to go into the world of stock because stock is definitely a luxury brand right stock is a brand that is synonymous to a boutique brand okay so a lot of people think that stock vision c is a entry level but for people to to just get into stock but i don't think so i think it's just a different kind of bike um like i've been using the airfast g1 for almost two years um and now I'm now I'm just testing the Vision C just for fun of it, and I think that the stock Vision C is just a different bike. It's very responsive. The head tube, uh, the bottom bracket, um, even the, the 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 bottom tube and the, the the top tube is really chunky. I feel that the frame itself is really responsive. The the handling is very 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 fast. The handling is very snappy. Surprisingly, the ride isn't that harsh. I find the ride pleasant, even though I'm I'm using an 8.2 kilobyte with a Shimano 105. All al aluminium parts uh, for, for the handlebar, the stem and the seat post. Uh, what else? I'm using probably a 1.9 kilo wheel DT Swiss 32mm wheel I think. But honestly speaking, even though I'm using really low end component, I find the ride very pleasant. It's still very snappy. Um, I didn't get any PR definitely versus the 8.2 kilo bike. But I think if you really can drop the weight uh, and put in good components, the frame will definitely perform. Overall, I feel that the frame with the huge bottom bracket and the huge head tube is really good. It's so snappy. Uh, when I upset, I definitely feel the speed during upsaddle. Different bike. It's not an entry level bike. It's just a different category of bike. It's a crit bike. Is is is. I think it's a racer racer boy bike. You know, that's why I like it. It's really macho. If you ask me, um, is stock Vision C still relevant after even so many years in the market it, or for 2020? I think it is. Right, I uh, mean, Vision C is still a very good value, but if you can find outside, there are a few secondhand outside, or you probably can check out one cycling industry if they have a new one. Honestly speaking, for below 10,000 ringgit, uh, don't even talk about getting out there, right? just get the 105. Just get the 105. The only thing I want to complain about the bike is probably the, the bar tape that came with it. It's a terrible bar tape, it's really not comfortable. But if I change the bar tape, I think I have really no complaint. I think the only two things I would change for the Vision C that I have right now to test would be change the bar tape, change to a carbon wheel, and that's it for the first phase, right? And then the second phase, obviously, I'll change it to, to, to a DI2 or a SRAM E-Tab and together with all the carbon components, and I'll try to get the weight down to 7.1. Oh, my goodness, I think it'll be a monster to ride. So that's my take for the stock Vision C. Yes, it's still good. It's a cool bike. I love it. I've always loved it. I still love it now, even after my first ride. I think it's such a macho bike. I think you should just go try it out and go check it out. Thank you.